<laughs> hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Rob Aroni Games. And we're in Trench Drop Cove still. I'm nine notes short and three jiggy short of getting a uh, finishing the level. So hold on. Um, I have something in my glasses, so I'm gonna definitely wipe that down real quick. And welcome back! Okay, so if you uh, guys just don't know, I'm recording this the same day as Banjo Kazooie Part 2 because whenever you leave a world, like if you quit the game and you come back, you're gonna have to start from the very beginning of the world again. Oh, not really. You have to start from the beginning of the layer and then make your way back. It's just a pain to do. Okay, so what have I not done yet? I'm missing three jiggies, so. I don't even have to worry about Snacker. All that much. Okay, so I'm missing three jiggies. I know where two of them are. Oh, and the other one's the yellow Jinjo. Oh, yeah, this shouldn't take too long at all, guys. We get done with this, and then we'll be uh, going to the next level and doing a little bit of that level because that level's not as bad as this one. Ow, ow, ow. Holy crap. I decided to take a shower. This be run to this booty. Which I did. I did get it chest you piece of shit and of course we get some r lame rhyme from grunty because that's what you get the entire game is just lame rhymes all right so now we get to go to a very beautiful vantage point yes oh yeah we don't have the witch switch either but i think it's also up here so bam got that music note that's just sitting there for no reason just one Alright, we're up at the top of the world. So let's grab this yellow Jinjo real quick. Aw, oh, yeah. Gamer pick! I got a gamer pick, guys! You've been awarded a gamer pick. Oh, God. We're standing on nothing. Okay. Alright, now to make the climb. How did clams get up here? I'm just, I, I just kind of wonder that. How did the clams get up here? The world may never know. Alright, so I just like to take this nice and slow up here because I think there's some notes you can miss if you take that shock jump panel. Okay, so if you go behind the building, there's the witch switch. Alright, so there's, they shoot a jiggy over across the way. It's pretty easy jiggy to get. So you can just grab the mumbo token, uh, grab some more music notes. And there we go, we got 100 music notes. And they made the shock pad really small for some reason. And there we go, it's Jiggy, number 10, on the top of the level. And Banjo and Kazooie are gonna do their dance. Wow, it's now super behind again. What the hell? It was like this last time. Uh, so, I mean, you can take in everything on this level. It's pretty awesome. Oh well, I'm just gonna jump off this. Just slide down this. Let's get to right here. And alright, let's leave Treasure Trove Cove. I mean, we finished the level. So, uh, let's let's get some health first. Man, we <laughs> I didn't spend that much time in Treasure Trove Cove. I could have definitely finished it in this, uh, in the last part. That's okay. This will come out, uh, the next week. Um, you guys won't know how long it will take, obviously. <laughs> Until this video comes out, so aha. All right. So, oh boy. God damn it! Die. Nice jump, Kazooie. Okay, so you gotta take two jumps like that up here. Kill that guy, and then take a third jump, and there you go. That's the jiggy for Gruntilda's layer. For the Treasure Trove Cove layer. Treasure Trove Cove layer jiggy. Alright. So now let's leave. Man, this thing is so far behind. Like, it was not this far behind just like a second ago. Alright, so now you gotta climb one of these things. And now we're gonna begin one of probably the most annoying level in the game. It, it is a really annoying level in my opinion. It's, it's a fun level. It's really annoying. My sister hates this level, so. Well, I know my mom definitely loves this level. So, alright. So, okay, there we go. If you want to place all your pieces into the picture, just press the right trigger. 
That's how, that's just the easiest way to do it. So, here we are. Level 3. It is Clanker's Cavern. As you can tell by the picture. Alright. So, if you're good at swimming in video games, this is definitely not a problem with a level for you. This is actually a really easy level if you're good at swimming in video games. If you're not good at swimming, like my sister, uh, you'll hate this level with a fiery passion. So go down here, hit the switch. I almost missed it. So those will stay permanently up. Um, yeah, we're gonna go unlock the next level too. So it'll bring you some anticipation for World Four. So if you just go backwards like that, and just fall. I mean, that was stupid. Ugh. Oh, okay. I'll go back, maybe. Um. All right. Slim once more. Okay. So that fairy lady right there that we just saw. That's uh. This is like a quiz game at the end of the game before you defeat Grunty. Uh, and that's. you. She'll give you the answers to some of the questions. Like, some of the questions are about Grunty, and so you have to ask her them. You have to ask her what the answers are, and then you'll get it down. So basically, you just write down pen on a paper, really. Alright, so we're gonna unlock rule four, which is my least favorite world in. Actually, no, it isn't. No, it's not. Alright, so, Bubble Gloop Swamp, uh, it's definitely, like, I, I would say it's one of my least favorite levels in the game. It's definitely not. It's not memorable whatsoever. All the good levels in the game are near the end of the game. Uh, Church Trove Cove was pretty fun. Clanker's Cavern's alright. Uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp, a lot of people love Freeze Easy Peak, and I just don't see the point of it. I fucking hate that level. <laughs> um... Yeah, I just, I hate Freeze Easy Peak. It's just annoying as hell, man. Alright, so we done some layer stuff, which is good news. Alright. So let's jump up here. And we gotta go across here. And let us go to world number three. Alright, Clinker's Cavern. Okay, this is... Now, let me tell you how bad this level is. <laughs> um, it's not that bad. You, you should be fine. Unless... The hardest part about this level, in my opinion, is the first five... Like, the first jiggy of the level. Once you get past that, you're good. If you do that AX move, the Ratata Rap or whatever, you'll always get those guys. Always. Um, oh, so we got the Golden Feathers. That's the move we're going to learn in this level. I did it almost a little bit too early. So essentially, as soon as you do the rat tie wrap, um... Oh man, wow, I killed him with the bear claw. Is <laughs> it gonna be standing completely still or just moving very slowly to do it? And all the time in this game, you're just moving at full speed. Alright, here we go, Clanker's Cavern. So essentially, that's just the entrance to the cavern. Nothing, nothing too interesting there other than a Jinjo and a few notes. And, oh my god, what is this monstrosity? Oh no, we're gonna get eaten. Okay, so, Clanker wants fresh air. Holy crap. So, Clanker's Cavern is really just this big, well, tube, I guess you could say. Um, essentially, you got like eight different pathways you can go down. But,. The way to beat this level, really, you gotta go down here, below Clanker, and f and release him first. Because if you don't do that, you're going to lose. And, of course, just to make it more of a pain in the ass, they put notes in the Jinjo down here. <laughs> like, really? So, essentially, I like to just go around collecting the notes. Because when you're pushing the X button, you swim faster than the fish that's down here. There's a fish down here that will give you, um, bubbles of air. And so if you can find him, that's awesome. Okay, I think he's right behind me. Oh, no, there he is. Okay, you gotta get the Jinjo. Uh, grab the air bubble. Grab it. Grab it. 
Grab it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they only give you two, um, two bars of air, so... Usually I like to swim counterclockwise until I meet up. Oh no, come on. Come on. This isn't good. This is definitely... Oh my gosh. This note is, like, evading me. Alright, Gloop, I really need some air, buddy. Gloop, I really need some air. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Okay, this could be bad. This could be really bad. Um, uh, no. No, Gloop, come back. Gloop. 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 Gloop, I need your air. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, this is why this level is pretty damn dangerous. This part is just really annoying. Once you get past this part, this this level's pretty much a breeze. All right, I'm just gonna take this. All right. So I've already swam through it once, right? Okay, so my air is definitely filled. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna swim back through it this way. So you just gotta swim through it three times. And essentially, you get it. All right, so we should be good now with five bubbles of air. That should definitely make us do the surface. So if you don't get the jiggy here, like if you die and you don't get the jiggy, um, you have to do this part all over again. <laughs> it's essentially as simple as that. Man, we're gonna have Oh, fresh air. Clanker's fresh air. You find a reward on Clanker's back. I know. We saw it. Alright, so just swim up. It shouldn't be too difficult if you know what you're doing. Oh my gosh. That is, that is a super hard jiggy early on. That's probably the hardest jiggy early in the game. Like in the first three levels, I'd say. Okay, so you gotta flip onto his back. Uh, don't, don't ground pound him. I mean, you can, but don't be a douche. To the man that you're going to be inside of this entire level. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab this jiggy. Okay, are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? Alright, there we go. Freaking hell, man. Alright, got the jiggy. How does Clanker's teeth hurt? I, I, I really want to know, because, like... He's a roll. He's like a metal thing. Oh, oh my gosh! I made that jump like a pro. So you just shoot eggs at this thing. It'll open up, or not. Oh, there we go. I almost fucked that up. All right, we got jiggy number two. Okay, so just really gotta collect some more notes. Um. Kill some of these guys. Like I said, if you just if you do that A then X move, uh, right before you meet them, you'll always kill them first. That's how it works. Oh my gosh! No! Oh! <laughs> that could have been real. Okay. So there's absolutely some stuff underwater still, but um, we're gonna focus on going inside Clanker right now. Or well, first things first, we're gonna come up, we're gonna jump on this. He's gonna shoot a skyward. And then we run up here. And then we gotta follow this precarious ledge. Holy crap. Banjo, banjo. And there's an energy. That's Jiggy number three. So those those two are probably the two easiest Jiggies in this game, other than the mutant turtles. Mutant frogs. Crabs. Mutant crabs, that's what they're called. Um no, you wanna open his teeth first. Really? Just gotta wait here. Line up a shot. Oh, come on. Ugh. So line up a shot with the teeth uh, and deal some damage to it. Yes, there we go. Okay. Alright, so there's the jiggy. So if you get the other... Uh, you don't even have to get to the other side then. Wow, okay, I didn't even know that. There's a mumbo token on the other side, but I don't think we got really got to worry about that. So now we're inside Clanker, so... Hopefully you guys got... Weak, uh... uh hopefully you guys have got strong guts. I mean, this is nasty. Why is this inside Clanker? Why is there tentacles inside of Clanker? It just doesn't even make sense. 
They're just there because they just want to be there, I guess. Alright, so essentially what you gotta do now, this is a time trial. It's a pretty easy one, too. Just jump through the rings. I think this is energy as well, so... That's a pretty easy one, actually. That one's a tough one to get. You can screw that one up pretty easily. Alright. Jump through both of them. And then... Get the last one with about 15 seconds left. Wow. Did that pretty slowly, but I did it. So that's good news. Yeah, we're probably gonna have four parts of Banjo-Kazooie recorded. There you go, man. That's awesome. And there we go. Got an air jiggy. Alright, so that's jiggy number five. Wow, we're already halfway done with jiggies on this level. Um, definitely not on Jinjos or Notes. Actually, we have two Jinjos, I think, so. Uh. Alright, so essentially how this one... So there's a Jinjo at the bottom of this death, of de de deadly pit of despair. It's always a pretty easy one to get because you can just swim towards the other wall and grab it. Uh, and then just swim back up. And there we go. Got two life. Alright, so then just go over here. Note, 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 note. Alright. I don't want to swim to his gills. If that's what those are. Okay, so he just opened up the hatch. Drop inside. Hit the witch switch. Okay, so essentially that's a pretty easy one. You can probably figure that one out. Alright, these are the combs of death, I guess. Wow. Oh wow, I did really well on that. <laughs> Usually you don't do so well on those. Uh, you're supposed to learn a move from bottles that just makes you invincible, so you don't even have to deal with that. But that's what we're going to do right now. And then we're going to go, uh... We might finish this level in this episode, boys. Could do it. I'm doing, I'm doing really well on this level right now. So. Alright, so then you just talk. Uh, whoops. You talk to bottles. This, this is a pretty hard move to find, in all honesty. <laughs> Shield against the bad guys. Cool, doesn't make me invulnerable. Sure does. Hold the right or left trigger. Push the right stick. So, remember when I said that red feathers and blue eggs are pretty useless and you don't need to collect all of them? Collect every gold feather you see. Really, it is... They're super valuable. <laughs> I mean, if there's a boss battle you don't want to do, just use a gold feather and just defeat the boss. I mean, that's exactly how it is. Um, so then you just do that. Banjo, banjo, kazooie, banjo. Oh, that was that was pretty tough. You can actually make it through that without using gold feathers, but it's it's pretty damn hard. If you actually jump, I think you do go faster. So, eh, I lost the same amount of gold feathers as I did going that way, but that's okay. We got out of there with six gold feathers and. And we still got a few more things we have to do. I think we got four more Jiggies left. Alright. And I know where most of them are. There's Jinjos. There's... Um, there's a couple other things. Do we have four? No, we have three Jiggies left. That was Jiggy number seven. Okay. I know exactly where the rest of them are, I think, then. Yeah, I know where all the rest are. Alright. We still gotta collect all the Jinjos, but... Those are pretty damn easy. There's only... We gotta collect all the notes still as well. Okay, so let's collect all the notes. I mean, that's definitely possible. These are easy to miss. And for some reason, that one can be a pain in the ass to kill. Climbing up the ladder of champions. Alright. Okay. So, let's drop down. Wow, we've almost got all the notes too. Wow, I'm just doing this in. Ah, son of a bitch. That's what I get for looking at my recording time. Missing notes. 
Now, this is one of the games I dearly love. Um, so, the, I know most of this stuff on this game. Other than a couple levels later on in the game. So, I mean, there's there's a couple... There's some stuff I don't know, guys. And you guys will... You guys will see me through all that pain. And suffering. Alright. So... So, there's a golden honeycomb piece. Just letting you guys know. There's the other Jiggy. That's another Jiggy right there. I usually like to get that Jiggy last. But if you go up there, there's a golden honeycomb piece. We haven't got the other one yet. But the other one's pretty easy to get. It's actually really easy to get. Both of them are hidden very well in this map. But if you know where they're at, they're not hard to get at all. How do I get up? Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, you gotta wait for the thing. To rise up off the ground and then jump. All right. Oh, you can climb in the inside too. So you. All right. So that's where the orange Jinjo is. Yeah, we only have one more Jinjo. Yeah. All right. Never mind. We're making great pace. So if you go inside, I think there's blue eggs. But you want to go on the top. The only reason you want to go inside is to get that orange Jinjo. And that's about it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue. Well, no. No, we're not thanks to you guys for watching. We're actually going to finish this uh, level in this episode. I'm just taking a recording break right now. Purely because uh, the bathroom is severely need that time. So, thank you guys so much. Um, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. Well, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Um, we are now... We are now... In Clinker's Cavern. As you guys saw already. Um, so, let's get the last three jiggies, uh, and then we'll call it an episode. So, thank you guys so much for supporting the series. I really appreciate it. Uh, three parts in. Um, even if the supporting is only like five or so views... It's experience that matters, really. It really is. Snippet me, you doughy. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. Uh, okay. Okay, really? Fuck off. Mmm! Boom! Get wrecked! Get wrecked! Okay. Alright, really? You wanna play the game right now? You want to play the motherfucking game? <sighs> There's a jiggy right there. That's ours. It's ours for the taking. I think it's the last notes. Usually I do this boss fight like really early. 96, 97, 90. Are we missing two music notes? Are you fucking kidding me? I know where they're at. I know exactly where they're at. Okay, never mind. We're good. I know where they're at. We're good. We're good in the hood, boys. I know where they're at. All right. Eighth Jiggy. All right. Let's get the last few. And then we'll call it an episode. All right. I know where they're all at. Okay. Both the other Jiggies are underwater. This one can be, um, sometimes scary to get in all honesty. You can totally drown doing this. Um, uh, but it's not that bad, actually. Especially when you're going towards it. When you're going away from it, it can be pretty damn scary. Dude, Banjo's got lungs of steel. Alright, we're just gonna swim all the way around the freaking jiggy. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. It's like we're running away from the Death Star blowing up. do 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 Oh no, 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 Alright. Holy crap. That's always a tough, that's always a, ah. Let's swim underneath him. Let's get the last, let's get the last Jinjo and last Jiggy, and then we'll collect the last few music notes. Out of here. And then we'll see you guys in part four. Yeah, for some reason you don't pick up the gin the jiggy. Alright, look at that. Jiggy number ten. 
All right. Nope, this is not the place. That's the place right there. Boom. All right, so essentially to get these last two music notes, need to hop across these precarious ledges. Yeah, I like how I'll use the word precarious, guys. I know my vocabulary. And we got an extra life. That doesn't matter because as soon as you turn the game off, all your extra life, you go back down to three, I think. It's either three or two. I don't remember. It's one of the two. I think zero doesn't count as a life in this game, so I think it's just three. All right. Well, thank you, Clanker, for your garbage and your chewing and your and nasty insides with tentacles in it. You should get that checked out, really. Um, and we are going to be on our way. All right. We got eight lives, some breath, and now we can leave this dump called Clanker's Cavern. There's a level kind of like Clanker's Cavern up in the up in the future, but definitely not as difficult. Actually. No, it's, no, it's a lot, yeah, this is definitely not as difficult as that level. That level is actually one of the, I'd say that's probably the hardest level in the game. The last level in the game is just really confusing and particular. The level before that's pretty difficult. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and we'll see you in part four when we take on Bubble Goof Swamp. See ya.